Okay, to design a query, um, we're going to go into the Create view. Inside there, we can see one called the Query Wizard. We're going to open up the Query Wizard, and we're just going to go for this first option, which is a simple query. Say OK to that, and you see this little window that opens up. Now, if we had um, more than one table, we'd be able to choose from this drop-down list of which one we want to get the queries from, but we've only got one table, so this is the one that's showing. And I said we don't need the ID field, but we are going to take across by clicking on this one all the other fields apart from the storyline which is quite a big one so I've got all of these ones they're selected now you can see it's in the selected fields pane I'm going to hit next and basically all I need to do now is to give it a title so I'm going to call this one um, basic query and I'm going to hit finish and you, you see straight away it actually runs the query it looks very much like the table but this is actually the query running now and what it's done is it's returned all the values that we asked for. So you can see there's no storyline there and there's no ID field there, but it's given all the other ones back. What I can do now is I can actually go into the design view of this query. So if I go into my design view, this is what my query actually looks like. So here's my table and these are the fields within my table. And you can see in my query, the ones that have been selected have been dropped in. And there's different ways I could have done this. So say for instance, the rating field, if I highlight it and hit the delete button, I've got rid of it. If I decided I actually did want that back, I could just um, grab it from up here and drag it onto there, and it, and it goes back in place. You can also see that there's ticks in place. If I take a tick off, so I'm going to take off the actress one and the rating one, if I now run my query, you can see it's no longer showing those two things. However, if I go back to it again, I can still um, switch them back on again. They, they're not lost from my query, they're just not showing until I tick them. So that's the way that the query works. Um, I obviously, I've saved this one as basic um, query. What I could do now is, I've got that query, I'm going to close it for a moment. I will say yes to saving it. I'm going to duplicate it, so I'm going to click on the basic query, and I'm going to copy it, and I'm going to click again, and I'm going to paste, and this time it'll ask for a new name. So this time I'm going to call it um, I'm going to call it film title search or film title query. And what I want to be able to do now is to create a query that will search for a specific film. So there's my basic query, there's my film title query. At the moment they're exactly the same, I've just copied it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to design view on my film title query. And in the column for film titles, there's my field for film. I'm going to go into the criteria one, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a square bracket in. I'm just going to type something in. I'm going to say, uh, please enter film title. And what this is going to do, and put a square bracket on the end, this is going to prompt the person who's using my database to type something in here when, this, when the queries run. So I'm going to save the query first, and I'm going to run it, and watch what happens. So it instantly pops up a little box and asks me to type something in. So I'm going to type in the name of a film. So there's a film in there called Titanic. I'm going to hit Titanic and say OK. Now, this search query only brings me back the information that I wanted. It doesn't bring me back the whole set of data from the database, just the one that I've asked for, which in this case was Titanic. I can move these things around if I want to change my, my columns to make them look easier to read and, and more attractive or whatever. I can, I can do that. You can see there it's popping up. I could even do a search if I wanted to on various things. I'm not going to at the moment because there's no point. There's only one thing in there anyway. But it could be that if I searched by a director, there'd be more films in there than one film. If I searched by year, there could be lots of films. So once I've made my basic query, I can copy that query, give it a different name, and any time I want to, I can change what it actually does. So from the first one I make, I can then make lots of different search queries. Okay, good luck with that.